百分之五八一。Hello, my name is Zhang Jiaxuan. My magic number is two zero nine one five four. My role is Ray. Hello, my name is Liu Hao. My magic number is two zero nine five eight one. My role will be Eric. Hello, my name is Muhammad Fidaus Bey Muhammad Zemi. My magic number two one two one nine nine. My role is Alia. Uh, 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 hi, Alik, Alisa, and I will about to call you. Hi, Ray. Hi, Ali, Lisha. Sorry for being late. I was just printing some pages about food waste in Britain. Do you want to include other country in this presentation? I thought we were concentrating on Malaysia. Well, it is a global problem, so I thought we might want to provide some statistic to show that. Fair enough to me. What did you find out? I was looking at one of the studies from 2018. It basically concluded that 12 billion pounds worth of food and drink were thrown away each year. All of it and ended up in landfill sites. Look at this article. Let me have a look. Oh, wow! Say here that the food weighs over a million ton, and that did include packaging. What an incredible amount! This is finger is shocking. We can include this uh, for the opening uh, of our presentation that may capture the audio's attention. Exactly, and the most interesting part here is that we are only looking at the household, not restaurant or other catering industries. Interesting. I think it's good that we chose this topic for our presentation. When people talk about carbon dioxide emission, they will usually focus on factories that produce uh, no food products. You are right. People should start to think about the fuel, the farm, and factory required to produce the food. We could really cut down on carbon emission in less. Food waste supply in the first place. Yes. Now that I think of it, now that I think of it, when we talk about food, people will only focus on fat, sugar content, and addictives in food. But there's and there is none about what happens after it ends up in the bin. That's right. Well, we only have fifty minutes for this presentation. I think we will have to limit on what we will say about the consequences of food waste. I agree with you, Alisa. We will focus on the problems. It should get the other attention. Now, how do you want to start our presentation? Uh, let's not start with the suspicious. Though, because that is what everybody does. Yes, sure. How about we give the other student a set of question to answer about the food that they waste every day? That's brilliant. It sounds more personalized, and we can make them feel a little bit guilty for not finishing their food. We can also show them. Pictures of landfill sites that so that it will make them think twice before wasting their food. I like your idea. From there, we can then move on to our body、uh, presentation. I think we can include all the shocking statistics that we have discussed、uh, early. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I was thinking perhaps we could also include some solutions for this problem. I mean, individuals can play their own parts, and perhaps later we can have a small projects that to give awareness to the whole campus. Oh, slow down, Eric. That is a 
world different level. As of now, I am just trying to get good grade for my presentation. I am all ears. That could be our little project, but just like Alida said, let's ask for on our presentation first. Yes, don't worry. It that was just a plan. Maybe I get a little carried away with all the statistic and information that we have. I understand, but I do like your idea though. Me too. Now, let me not waste our time. We have two hours before our next class start. First, we need to dove our presentation. Okay, thank you, thank you. everyone.